Manny, we got the Canadians coming in today. Thank you, Manny. Hello, hello, maple syrups. Yep, he wants to know if it's normal for a 5900X to boost to five gigahertz. He says mine does and it runs hot, especially when playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Hello and welcome to Bite Size Tech. I'm your host, Rogue, and today a word from our sponsor, Crypto.com, home of the Visa card that pays up to 8% in rewards and the app that pays you up to 14% annually on your crypto stake. Join more than 10 million users on the world's fastest growing crypto app as you trade with confidence on the world's fastest and most secure crypto exchange. Tech has more information and a special sign up offer at the end of this video. It is not. You have something turned on in your BIOS doing that. A game mode, a forced overdrive, every BIOS is different and they can kind of tweak the, 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 the settings how they want. Uh, none of the Zen 3 chips will hit five gigahertz under normal default conditions. Um, the 50, you might get 4.7, 4.8. You shouldn't be getting five. If you're getting five, you've got some boost turned on. The voltage is probably cranked way up. Your motherboard's probably running it at 1.45 volts to get it at five gigahertz. And you know, honestly, it's probably fine for the chip and it probably will last a long time, but it will be hot as Hades doing that. 4.7 at 1.35 volts will run cool and quiet and last forever. 5.0 will be a very, very minor difference and produce a crap ton of heat and put a lot of voltage on the chip. There you go. Check, check your motherboard settings because some motherboards, when you turn on XMP for the RAM, will then automatically turn on. I've seen this on some ASUS boards. My i7-7700K, for example, if you turn on XMP, it comes up with a box saying, um, enabling XMP will also enable processor enhanced performance mode. And if you do it, it turns on the uh, MCE, multi-core enhancement, so all the cores run at the max single core turbo. Ooh. So what do you have to do? I go turn that off manually. Good. I go set the cores back to auto. Gotcha. Because a 7700K does 4.2 out of the box on all cores. Right. But if you turn on XMP and you let the motherboard do it, it'll go 4.5 on all the cores on the 7700K, which is fine if you know that's what it's doing, but it also leaves the voltage on auto and it kicks the voltage above 1.4 and then it gets really hot. So, yeah. How many of you have a Visa card that pays you up to 8% on every purchase? Crypto.com offers an amazing deal on their Visa card with cash back that is an unbeatable deal. No annual fee, no sign-up fee, no credit checks, no interest payments. It works just like a prepaid debit card, allowing you to spend your money anywhere Visa is accepted. But wait, there's more. Get your Spotify, Netflix, and Amazon Prime subscriptions 100% paid for by Crypto.com. You heard me right. Use your new crypto Visa card to pay for your subscriptions and get 100% back in rewards. Earning 8% on your new Visa card is awesome, but how would you like to earn up to 14% interest on your crypto holdings? If you're holding crypto for investment, inflation protection, or price speculation, it can be frustrating to feel like your money is just parked. Yes, you really can earn up to 14% annual interest on your crypto paid weekly directly to your account to spend however you like. The interest is paid in the same token that you're holding. So if you have Bitcoin staked, you are in Bitcoin. If you have Ethereum staked, you are in Ethereum, and so on. Flexible terms are offered, including zero lock, so you can withdraw your crypto anytime you like without restrictions, or you can hold for one or three month terms for a higher rate of return. Of course, you can buy, sell, and exchange 100 plus cryptocurrencies with 20 plus fiat currencies using bank transfers or your credit and debit card at true cost. Crypto.com is first and foremost a crypto exchange. There is so much more to explore, I have barely scratched the surface. DeFi features including a private wallet with full control of your private keys, margin and derivatives trading options for advanced traders, crypto credit allows you to borrow against your holdings with no deadlines or credit checks, crypto NFTs allows you to explore the new world of non-fungible tokens, crypto pay allows you to pay any merchant with crypto and you earn up to 10% back in rewards, and that's not even everything they have to offer. If you're looking for the place to be in crypto, use our link 
link in the video description below to sign up today, you'll get a $25 crypto sign up bonus and 30 days of 0% transaction fees on credit and debit card purchases of crypto. It supports the channel and it gets you a great offer to get started in the world of crypto.